Brown trout, whether on lakes or streams, you hook one and you know you've got a battle on your hands. Well, for over 75 years, fish experts north of Crivets have been battling to make sure they'll continue to thrive. This is what a state record 34 and a half pound brown trout taken out of Lake Michigan looks like. This is what it looked like a few years back. They're three inches when we bring them in from the wild rose hatchery. And then when we stock them out um, next April, they'll be probably about nine inches. Amy and her team managed the Thunder River Rearing Station, one of the state's very first. It was dedicated by the, by the CCCs in 1937. They started with the science years and years ago and we just kind of stuck with it and modified a thing, few things, but a lot of what we do every day here is the same stuff they've done set for the last 75 years here. While the buildings are original, so are some of the methods, mainly using a natural stream as their water source, which is both good and bad. Bad in that it brings potential problems from upstream, good in that battling those problems actually makes the fish hardier and more likely to survive in the wild. Battling Mother Nature every day, it's our job. We roll with the punches. Whatever they are doing, it's working because browns are thriving like never before. One of the keys, keep them away from hungry walleye. They found that by stocking these fish in deep water, they're avoiding the walleye in the spring. If it all works as planned, one of these will someday be one of these. They can get to be record breakers, we hope. Mino, NBC 26.